back. This is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650. Well, we're moving on now. Moving on up to the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> moving on up to the west side. That's the Jeffersons. There you go. We're moving here. We're moving on Boomer Life this Saturday morning with the folks from Shannon Oaks. Jillian Fullerton is sales and marketing manager at Baptist Housing. Anne McKenzie is with us from Estate Property Services. Anne is a downsizing expert. And in fact, in a couple of days, you have a downsizing seminar scheduled for next Wednesday That's at right. Shannon Oaks, That's don't right. you? That's right. It'll be an opportunity for me to meet some of Jillian's prospective new residents and talk to them about the steps they need to take in uh, in making their downsize as smooth as possible. Right. And bringing to, uh, bringing to their attention some of the pitfalls and mistakes that people make and basically just a positive. Yeah. Well, if you say, Anne, that, that the biggest, in most cases, not all, but in most cases, the biggest decision is actually the psychological decision to move. That's okay? We're going to move. That's right. That's the big one. That's and right. And to where, and all of those other decisions fall in well behind just getting to where you need to be, we're going to move. That's That's, that's an that's enormous correct. decision. That's correct. Once they've made that decision... And, well, it, it, while while you're trying to process making that decision, one of the concerns that Jillian has reminded us of many, many times is, what on earth am I going to do with all my, my stuff? stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so if in the process of trying to think about uh, a retirement community like Shannon Oaks as a lifestyle legitimate option and a great choice, well, you've got to deal with all of that stuff. That's part of the process. And Anne is a downsizing expert. So attending a downsizing seminar might be a really smart idea, Anne, for someone perhaps still in the throes of making that decision. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because here's uh, uh, some thoughts, at least, about all that stuff. That's that's correct. So so typically what we ask our clients to do is their first and most important decision once they've made uh, once they've made the choice of where they're going to be moving is what are we going to take with us? Right. They, it's, it's very important that they that they have with them all the items that are near and dear to them. And so we suggest that they make a list of the of their um, of the items that they want to take with them, measure the furniture, and make sure it's going to fit into their new suite. Right. We will measure the furniture that's for right. them. Okay. That's right. We will do that. That's right. Okay. And, we, that's and right. Take it out. That's We've right. That. We do that, and we take. And the other thing that we offer the other off um, service that we offer is we um, prepare a floor plan to scale for them. Okay. We, we measure all of their furniture and input it into our computer and come up with a floor plan so that we can show them very clearly how the furniture is going to look. And, and Jillian goes in to the suite with painter's tape and they block out the floor with so that the okay. client can right. see that. The couch that. will go yeah, here right. and the coffee right. table here. That's all right. right, okay. That's right. So they can walk it. Sure, right. yeah. So if it's very clear that the furniture that they want to take is is really not going to work well and not fit well, then we ask them to make some choices. Do you have a loved one who would like to who you'd like to give this to? A loved one, a member, your family member, or a close friend? Mm -hmm. um, you know, they could ask that friend to just store it for them or give it as an outright gift. And then the next step, of course, is uh, what are we going to do with the rest of the stuff, right. everything that we have left? And we uh, prioritize that f f um, into items that we can sell items that should be donated, and, and lastly, items that need to go out for disposal. I was just going to say, yes. you know, when you do move, and, mm -hmm. and it's always a shock, mm -hmm. no matter how long you stay in your place, mm -hmm. when you finally move out, you are ju your jaw drops at how much junk you have. That's right. I mean, yeah. all that, all of there's a lot of meaningful stuff in That's there. Right. You've spent a lifetime accumulating. That's it, but right. My God, look at that stack of junk That's we accumulated right. as yeah. well. That's right. And that's stuff that just you'll be happy to see the last of. That's great. That's right. I mean, and each client that we work with have has a, have different personalities, and and uh, some people are uh, find it easier to let go than other people. True. True. That's true. And we need to respect their wishes. And if they have, you know, 200 albums of uh, of 
family pictures that they've collected over 50 or 60 years, we need to respect that mm -hmm. and make arrangements to get that packed up and put into a storage unit for them right. so that is they're not letting it go. Um, or you could put it on a disc. I was just so going to say, you, yeah. you can have all that's of that digitized. Yeah. That's we, right. we know a couple yeah. of people here at the that's radio place that's that you right. can uh, put we've, on We've too. done that as well. Sure. But sometimes they just can't physically let go sure. of the... Of course. Yeah. You know, it, depend, it depends on their age. Yep. Um, then the... Um, Selling uh, selling property, we really discourage our clients because you know they are seniors mm -hmm. from selling property out of their home. Yes, not selling Smart on move. not yeah. selling out of their home because it can be, as you know, a very dangerous situation. Absolutely, yeah. With what happened in the Okanagan in the summer, yeah. but um, in in this past summer, but um, so we work with auction houses and make arrangements to have them come in and and give a verbal appraisal mm -hmm. to our clients. And if the client wishes to sell the items, then we arrange to have all those items packed, property packed and picked up and sent off to auction. And uh, we do work with a few charities. Um, and uh, we we um, arrange with the charities to pick up. We oversee um, the packing and preparing the property for items that we're going to be donating to charity. And then and then of course there's disposal. So you're right. There always is disposal at oh, the end. Oh no question always about is it. Disposal at the end. Now this is Saturday morning. So okay. next Wednesday, that's October fifteenth mm -hmm. at Shannon Oaks, mm -hmm. which is in East Vancouver. I'm going to say very close to 49th and Kerr. Jillian will zoom in even closer to Waverly Boulevard. Or Waverly Avenue. It's 49th and Elliott. It's right on the corner. It's in Killarney. Right, right. Right, right by right. the Killarney the, Market. Yes. You know, it's across the street from the Killarney Market. Uh, there a is block a block or two from Killarney High. That's right. A block west. Right. Yeah. And um, it's um, basically at the corner of Waverly and Elliott. Right. And Which it's is on just 25, 26 Waverly. Right. That's right. One block. Um, north of 49, so it runs. Waverly runs parallel to 49. Right. Okay. So it's it's. Um, I mean, it's easy to find. I say because I drive there quite often. <laughs> well, you know, you can also go to the website, which is shannonoaks.com, and That's there's the correct. map on the website. That's you right. can do that. Yeah. Or if you're really interested in Anne's presentation next Wednesday at Shannon Oaks, you could kill two birds with one stone here. You could learn about downsizing and how how uncomplicated life can be when you receive some professional assistance in right. that regard and you can have a look a good long look at shannon oaks and, and a lovely lunch and you can have lunch <laughs> well it's a triple whammy for crying out loud um, so really i think that um I would appreciate a phone call okay. for people to call me directly because there is limited seating. Sure. We don't do a huge auditorium. We make it more personable. We're serving you in our private dining room a lovely lunch. You come there, you have lunch, your your Anne gives her whole talk about how to downsize, answers questions. I was just gonna say, Anne, in that kind of smaller mix of people, mm -hmm. it would be easier for people to ask questions and not sort of stop the parade while they're doing That's it. That's right. Exactly. And so they they're encouraged to do that. They can even have a tour of Shannon Oaks. Excellent. After yeah. it I would Gladly. And in Kirsten Allenberg, the marketing manager at Shannon Oaks, she would show them around as well. So we'll both be there to assist with that. Give me a call at 604 326 5139. Okay. That's my direct line. Okay. Now, if I don't answer, just leave a message with your name and number. I'll call you back and we'll put you on the list. It is limited. So please call. And um, if you're not for this one, I'll put you on for the next one. Great. Okay. okay. And so, I, I wrote it down. The number of Jillian's direct line. Yes. This is hot stuff. The six three oh four. Sorry, six oh four three two six. 5139. That's correct. 326 that's 5139. Correct. And that's if you would like to attend uh, Anne McKenzie's downsizing seminar next Wednesday at noon? At 11 30. 11 30. Just before lunch. How nicely timed that is. 11 30, come in and then we'll serve you lunch and we'll give you a good talk on downsizing with Anne and uh, answer all your questions, give a really good suggestion, and um, she will give you some pointers as to what to look for. Give you a look around Shannon Oaks if you'd like to, but right. you get a taste of what retirement living is about. Okay, and th that number again for the downsizing seminar. We'll remind you of it a little later on in the show too. But if you did have a pencil and you wanted to jam uh, to jot it down, it's 604-326-5139. 
39. That's Jillian's direct line at Shannon Oaks, and that will get you through to a seat for the downsizing seminar if you get through in time. Otherwise, we'll put you down for the next one. I'll put them down for the next one because we do have them on a regular basis. And when people come to your downsizing seminars and they listen to your presentation and you tell them all about uh, prioritizing stuff and how to gracefully uh, lose a lot of that stuff in your life and in some ways to your own profit certainly uh, you can you can you can gift a lot of things to unsuspecting very happily surprised people yes but once you get past all of that basic information about downsizing what other important bits of information do clients generally then go okay so now I know how to unload all my stuff how to manage unloading my stuff okay and now what about what's that next thing usually about one of the one of the questions that I'm always asked at a downsizing seminar is in the process of making the move what do we do about a mover who do we use for a moving company mm -hmm. so we always advise them Always use a recognized moving company. This is where you don't want to use a man in a truck right. because you're entrusting them with a lifetime of treasures. Sure. Um, we always talk to them about how many men they need to be using and why they need to be using three men in a truck. Mm -hmm. um, we advise them that when they're going through the process of choosing the mover, find out very clearly what they're paying, mm -hmm. uh, what the end result will be, whether their, pro whether their property is insured. Those are some of the questions. Um, the, other, the other question that many of our clients want to know about is the timing for notification for the different um, um, services, for example, for oh, the gov mean, you government. Oh, you your hydro turned off and Well, such, right? more, more importantly for the government agencies like Canada oh, Pension, right. Revenue Canada, British Columbia Medical Services Plan. How do they go about that? When do they do it? When some some seniors' residences um, have their own internal phone system, so they simply need to um, disconnect their their current phone system. Right, some right. seniors' residences um, allow them to take their take their uh, phones, uh, their, their current phone numbers with them, or their f current phone service with them. Um, we find, I, I can't recall what, what um, Shannon Oaks does, but we find that it's a safety issue. Whether you, do you have an in, do you have an in every, service? Every, every, every suite is assigned a, f uh, a, a phone number. So which they is, have a new phone number yes. when they move in because yes. it's tied to your your 24-hour emergency right. pendant. Oh, I see. Okay, It's right. all tied to right. it, so that's why okay. they... So every suite has a specific number. So when they press that button, right. if they're in need of help, we know who they are, but we also know where they are, whether they're in the parking right. garage, in the courtyard, wherever. Okay, so and here's another silly question, perhaps, but uh, it, it, the new technology has an awful lot of people of all ages yes. packing cell phones yes. as well. Yes. What's the policy on cell phones oh, at Shannon Oaks? Bring them. Really? You just bring them. Okay. Sure. So you have you have a house phone in your you suite. You have a landline. And yeah. then, exactly. But if you want to use your cell phone, knock yourself out. That's right. But you still, okay. need, you still need to advise your supplier about your change of address. Of course. You know, yes. you yeah. need to do that sort right. of thing. And um, so, so you know, there are many services that we can advise over the telephone. There are others that um, we find typically our clients, because of their age, don't want to do any of this advising through the Internet. And so we write, uh, we do it slow mail way. Mm -hmm. We write letters on their behalf advising them of the change of address and the timing to um, Canada Pension, right. BC, uh, all of the care, important all the, agencies. All the important agencies. And, and we talk about timing with that. Don't do it too soon. Don't do it too late. Right. You know, that, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and one of the other questions that has to come up sooner or later, whether you're downsizing or, or whatnot, is the matter of, well, how much is this going to cost? And, and I would imagine that some people are making perhaps wrong decisions about seniors' independent living communities because they fancy them to be too pricey for the likes of me. Oh, you mean the cost of the, the community? The cost of living at yeah. Shannon Oaks yeah. or any other retirement community. Uh, can I think there is a perception out there, Jillian, that maybe I may be wrong about, but I, I hear it from seniors. Oh, I couldn't possibly ever live in one of That's those. Right. But I couldn't afford one of those. I, I'd like to, I mean, but I can't even let myself think about it. I couldn't possibly afford to live there. What we do is we give an, in, in our brochure package, and anybody can phone me and ask for a brochure to be mailed to them. I would be happy to do it. Okay. But in that package, we have a comparison sheet. 
So you compare how much you're paying for your house maintenance, for your electrical bill, your cable vision, your phone, your all of that sort of your 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 maintenance of your yard, yeah. you know things like that. Mm -hmm. So you put that and compare what it is with Shannon Oaks. If it's covered, what's covered? So when you move into Shannon Oaks, your cable vision is is included. Your heat, your light, everything is included. Your your rent, all your meals right. are included. Right, right. You know, so you take into consideration all of that. Your activities, you've got an array of activities. You don't have to go out, they're right there for you. Sure. We take you out, all of that. So all of that peace of mind and enjoyment of life is taken care of. The one thing that is not covered over and above your rent at Shannon Oaks is your telephone, okay. which is $29 a month. Oh, all and right. that we say right that, up that's front. That's the landline yeah. in your room that's that right. you just talked that's about. That's right. Okay. And also, if you drive, and lots of people do, parking. Underground concrete parking we have. Twenty-five dollars a month. Oh, oh my goodness! Such a deal. Yeah, that you is a deal. You, you, you realize can. there are people in the West End listening to us right now, going, "Really? Yeah. Twenty-five dollars yeah. a month? I pay ten month. times that much." In Secure a yeah. parking, oh, yeah. dry, lovely. Wow. You know? So those are the two extra cost, costs that you would have. But you get enhanced cable vision in your sure, suite, sure. everything. Okay. Now, if you want internet in your suite, I'm sorry, that is also extra, and mm -hmm. I think it's around $30. But there is Wi-Fi throughout. You know, in, in the library, you can bring your laptop down, and you can have Wi-Fi right there. Okay. So you don't have to have it in your suite, but if you do. So you know up front at Shannon Oaks exactly what your base cost is going to be, plus any extras. So your extra could be your telephone for $29, yeah. your park Parking for 25 and your internet in suite internet co Wi Fi connection would be 30 About Another something. 30 bucks yeah. a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But do they pay all that directly to you, or do they pay that independently to? They pay that directly to us. So that so that's another Again, positive. Again, a convenience there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, it's all covered. Yeah. It's that's listed right. in their monthly bill. Right. But what I is. what I find with my clients uh, as a selling so. feature for me when I'm selling my service is that they're going to be writing one check. Right. For all of these different services that we are offering them so that they don't have to pay the mover and pay the disposal company and, you know, pay all the different services they're writing one check. And it must be similar for you, Jillian. Yeah. Yeah. They're writing one monthly check That's to right. Shannon Oaks. Yeah. And that that takes a tremendous worry off people's shoulders. Yes. Because they're always worried that, oh, I forgot to pay my telephone bill right. or my hydro. I've got a final notice coming in. Mm -hmm. So that's. Yes. That's, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Our guests are, uh, while we're talking retirement living here, uh, with our guests from Baptist Housing is Jillian Fullerton, uh, sales and marketing manager for Baptist Housing right across British Columbia, and one of the many team members at Shannon Oaks at uh, 2526 Waverly Avenue in East Vancouver. Also joining us in today's discussion from Estate Property Services, downsizing expert Anne McKenzie. It's Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650, and we're back with lots more right after this. Canada's only weekly radio show dedicated to the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650.